With a new baseball season always comes new additions to the coaching staff and a roster for the Mud Hens. A monumental addition though coming this offseason when home run king Mike Hessman was named the hitting coach for Toledo. He's the all-time minor league home run leader with 433 in his 19 year career in the minors and still leads the Mud Hens franchise with 186 home runs. Having Coach Hessman on staff now relieving some of the hitting duties that was on Menkavage last season. But you mentioned Mike Hessman is going to be your hitting coach this year. To us in this area, it means a lot. What does it mean to you to have a guy who has, you know, uh, uh, famous here as a Toledo Mudhead? Well, it's going to, for me personally, it's going to take some of the, you know, like the media stuff off yeah. me. Uh, but at the same token, you know, Hess is an all-around really good baseball guy. So it's not just to, to, just to call him a hitting coach. It's not fair to him. I mean, he's very knowledgeable about the game and have a lot more help in-game stuff this year, I think, than before. And I think our jobs, too, is to kind of, you know, bounce stuff off each other, and, and, and Hess has been phenomenal with that so far. Um, but uh, to have him and to have, I know the rapport he has with the hitters he had before, which is phenomenal. Um, he's obviously really good at what he does. He's passionate, he works hard. Um, you know, him, and the addition to Juan Nieves, who's got a ton of big league service time as far as a player and as a coach. Um, you know, our guys are our guys are going to be pretty lucky to have a staff the way we, we've the, the Tigers did a phenomenal job of putting the staff together. There's that new uh, Hesman home run porch out in left field. How much are guys going to give him stuff when they hit it over his head? I hope they give it a lot. But you know, <laughs> like I said, this year's team will be, be a little different. I don't, you know, we are moving AAA in general is going to move to Major League Baseballs, which is going to be a, uh, you'll see a lot of differences in that. Um, it's going to be in a, like a, a kind of an adaptation period for the pitchers because the ball is different. The ball goes farther. It, it's uh, so there's going to be a lot more higher, probably higher run scored this year in AAA altogether. Um, but uh, we don't have as much power as we had last year, but we definitely, what we lack in power, we have more speed and more versatility. We have, you know, a lot of guys that are very intriguing and uh, will run the bases better than we think we did in the past. We have a lot more speed, which can create runs. There's a lot of ways to win games. And, and uh, you know, definitely, though, I know the way Ron Gardenhire wants it up there and he wants to be able to be aggressive on the bases and be smart. And, and we, have, we have the athletes to do that this year. You mentioned the athletes. I mean, obviously, you always get to deal with prospects. You mentioned the prospects. Bo Burrow is among the top uh, as far as the Tiger organization. Your assessment of him thus far? I've only seen him throw one or two times, uh, but I've heard all the stories. You know, he's you know, everything he brings physically on the mound. I love what he brings mentally. Um, you know, he'll be challenged this year. It's a new level for him, but uh, you can just tell tell by the way the guys that react when he, he's on the mound. He's always cheering on the dugout. That stuff like that goes a long way. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a chance to, to, to see him with my own eyes for a course of a season, hopefully not too long, hopefully he gets a shot in the big leagues. But, um, you know, everything that I've heard and everything I've read about him, is he's, he's, uh, he's, he's matched that and then some. The relationship with you and Ron Garden, how you talked about it last year, you know, it's how great it is. Does that help maybe this organization, AAA and majors, to continue that uh, relationship with you being here for another year? I think it helps. I mean, I, I mean, it's, it makes my job personally easier because I know what the man wants to look like. Um, I've been with Guardy since I was 22 years old. So, um, you know, I think some people probably don't like it because it's like two guys harping on the same stuff. But at the same token, um, I know how to prepare the guys. I know the shortcomings. I know where that he's going to attack them with. And, and uh, if it makes the transition better, I mean, for example, when they sent Jeff Pico to the Big Leagues last year, I felt like it was a perfect fit because the guys had worked with Peak for a long time. He has a calming demeanor. Um, so it was a, I think you saw our bullpen in Detroit pitch a lot better with the young guys because of the fact that Pico was there. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, after a couple more years with us being, me and AAA, him in the big leagues, you know, the, the, the window of, of failure is, is the window smaller than it's ever been because you kind of have a, uh, like a mini version of Guardy here. So the guys are prepared for it for a whole other year. And finally, the, the title of this uh, segment is No Days Off. Uh, I know that we're in this part. You, there are days off, but you don't get many days off. What did you do during your time off in the off season? Uh, I spent a lot of time coaching basketball, football, baseball. Uh, I have a 13-year-old son, so uh, a lot of fishing, um, but just uh, unwinding. You know, it's a it's a mental grind. You know, yeah, you know, it's it's a it's a long off season, but you got to flip the switch and become dad, and it's it's. The dad time isn't long enough, but we try to make the most of it with me and my son, and I look forward to the, He's coming up here pretty soon, so I'm looking forward to more time with him. I coach my son as well. Is it difficult for you to turn off how you manage with adults as to how you coach kids sometimes? I'm sure some of the parents feel that way. Um, <laughs> yes. You know, they, they get on me for being, like, some parents love it, some parents yes. think I'm too hard, but I, I'm, I'm hard on my own. And, uh, 
you know, he knows that, and uh, I'm hard on these guys too. And it's, it's you kind of never want them to be feel like they've made it yet. So that's kind of how I feel with Steelers. Always somebody bigger, faster, stronger on the corner, and and uh, it's my job to keep you humble and keep you keep dangling the carrot to get better.